Hello my VIP peeps. This is Tracy coming at you for the second time this evening. Um, sorry, this my arm, I just knocked everything over. Um, because I just did this entire how to put this wreath together and I hit the button for starting my camera, not my button for recording. <laughs> so did the whole thing, not nothing recorded. Here we go again. So <laughs> Uh, some of the stuff is put together, that's just how it is, because I don't have time to remake an entire other set. But I will show you. This is the August um, wreath creation. And I, well, you already have the welcome. The sunflowers are the new part. Um, and I do apologize that it has taken me so long. I have, I have my August wreath because when I first saw the wreath kit, this was one of the first alternates I thought of was these big sunflowers. I just love these sunflowers. The dyes are retired now, but oh my god, I love them. I'll never get rid of them. They're so awesome. Uh, I replaced this. This had a different um, dye behind it. This one is super nice. The other one was good too, but this one is just nicer and fuller. Oh, love it. So, <clears throat> yeah, I've had this out um, looking at it thinking, I've got to get to these things. So hopefully you'll be able to like leave your flowers out for a couple weeks before you switch to the September one, which I will uh, show you a little sneak of <laughs> when we're done. So I'm just going to show you what comes for in this wreath kit. Can I do it this way? And Now that everything's moved from the last time I did this, sorry. I just knocked. I now have a pumpkin caught in the in the bow. There we go. <laughs> okay. So, luckily I didn't put all of it together. So what you're going to find is you have three of the flower tops, like the detail part three of the centers for the flower and three of the bases. And I'll show you in a minute how that all goes together. Okay, so I just put those over top. Then you have five of the flower base, or sorry, leaf bases, five of the leaf details. And these are all um, stickers. I, I put the adhesive sheet on the back so you just peel and stick. Um, two of these big fronds for the side and then the three circles that you use to make your thing. So you're basically going to lay out your three circles, spread them out wide enough to give you your base. Um, this is just better for the magnets to stick to this than direct to the dies. Um, that way you're less likely to rip a, one of your die cuts. Um, and I, my middle flower is up on dimensionals, so it's higher than the other two. Um, and things just, they're all just kind of tucked around and stuck to things. And this just gives you a lot more options to play. So your little envelope is going to look like this. These, these big flowers, if I had wanted all the pieces to stay in, they wouldn't have. If I wanted them all to fall out, they wouldn't have. It's very hit and miss. Sometimes the centers are popping out, sometimes the other. We don't need any of these pieces. And they do come out fairly easy once it's time. I just, honestly, I've, I've been die cutting for hours and hours and hours, and I'm working on so much stuff right now that uh, I just didn't go through all of those and take all those little bits and pieces out. But you don't need them. They'll fall out. Um, they'll be all over your floor, and then you'll have a true crafter's room. <laughs> okay, so there's your little package for August, and those are all ready to go. Um, the only thing I will, so I will tell you that <laughs> I already did this, like I said, in my, in my, I thought I was doing a video, um, I did the leaf. So basically for the leaf, same thing, you're just going to peel the sticker off the back and lay it over top. I find with, especially when the pieces are small enough, put the base between your fingers like this, and then put the leaf piece over top. Start at the bottom or start at the top. Just start at one end, line it up, and then kind of use your fingers to keep it from sliding sideways. Because if you start at one end and this is holding things from sliding sideways, and then you just kind of line it up and squish it down, you're less likely to have it sticking off. It's not the end of the world. If one's sticking off or you got it sideways and there's a little bit of green, you just trim it. But if you want to have like all lined up and birdie, that's what you do. Um, and it's the same for this. So these centers popping out or not, there is a sticker also on the back of this. That's how you can, you can always tell if it's white or yellow on the front, you turn it over and it's, and it's, uh, it's white on the back. That means there's a sticker sheet on the back. So the adhesive sheet, I basically put it on the back before I die cut and it turns <clears throat> whatever I'm die cutting into a sticker. And um, I'm just going to finish this one now that I'm doing it a second time. Uh, and what that does is it just, like you could glue it and, and in some cases there's enough like big pieces around to find. But if you want to keep all of these little pieces on, and especially for this wreath that you're going to take on and off and use a couple times, um, you don't want you don't want it starting to get ripped and stuff. So the more you can secure it down, the the better, or like the longer it will last. If it's on a card and it's a one-time thing, and it's going to just you know go in the 
well, either the recycle bin or somebody's storage box, either way, uh, and it's not going to be handled a lot, you probably could get away with just finding some big spots to put them, but there you go. So this one, I hadn't fully popped all these little dunes out. So when you look at these things, these two things match up. And when you look, it's just like, oh my God. And this works for any die. Find the most obvious piece of the die. So in this case, the most obvious piece of this die is right there, right? Like all of these little notches in and out, but this is a big swoop. So find that piece. And then when you look at your die, find the big swoop again, which is right there. Right, so now that I found my big swoop, now I just a little bit of finagling and there we go. It lines up. So we're gonna peel the back off and we're gonna stick this on top. And now we can and we're gonna do the same thing, and I'll show you on this one. Um, but you have options. So this piece, which popped out again, can go in, can stay in or stay or come out. It doesn't really matter. But it's gonna be the same thing. This one is way less obvious. I tried to find like a significant chunk of it, and there it wasn't. So if, if it pops out and you want to put it back in, you just just kind of pick the, there we go. Just kind of, I was all I was doing was this little chunk here. I was picking this little tiny piece of the die and just spinning it around until this place fell in line and then the whole die fits in. So options, well, do whatever you want, but three obvious <laughs> options are, um, I also, okay, before I get to that, I also just noticed there's a bit of white showing here. It's very obvious on the camera. Sometimes when I do the die cut, it will cut through all the cardstock, and I always make sure it does, but it doesn't necessarily cut through all of the, it's kind of a waxy paper on the back of the sticker sheet. So rather than risk ripping the die, I will just leave the chunks of paper in between. Sometimes if it's on the edge and I, and I can like look like this and I can see it cut the die, but it didn't cut the paper underneath, I'll just leave like a chunk of cardstock because I know when you pick up the piece you want, that'll all just fall away, uh, but I, I don't want to risk um, ripping the die. So that's all that is. It'll come out. Okay, so with this in here, nice and flat, if you want, you could just pop this um, brown piece over top, glue it down. Do. And that's how I did mine. Mine are just glued on top. Um, I don't know why I picked that option. I just did. You can leave it all yellow if you really wanted to. Now, if, you are, if you're not sure and you're going to pop it out again, so this is how the flower goes. I got my significant little notch over here in my upper left. So when I do this this time, I'm going to pop this out and I'm going to keep the orientation and I'm going to put it right there where I don't touch it. So I don't have to do the spinning game the next time. Now, this one is bigger. This one does not fit in the middle. It's bigger. But if you want, you can just do a little dry fit first before you do it. But you can, oh, look at that. You can um, stick like, so glue this down in the middle and then you can oops, twist that. put this over top. Those are not lined up. There we go. And instead of instead of having, I'll show you my other one close up again here in a minute. But so this it gives you a, like a little bit of depth. It's not huge. It's the width of paper, but it's just a different look. And then the other option you have is if you wanted, like you really want to notice the the brown center. And I think in a sunflower, like the sunflower seems to me is kind of like this. And the center is all the sunflower seeds. So if you want to make it like pronounced, um, you could just put like stick this layer down first, then put a dimensional in the middle and then put this on, on top of the dimensional and it'll pop it up a bit and it'll just give you a way more distinctive center. So like I said before, we're going to do the same thing kind of with the leaf. You just got to find a corner, find somewhere. Um, oh, and, it, and well, you can always look on the back. So every now and again, like I probably ripped this off when I was taking one of the pieces out. So just find somewhere. And then remember, these are the delicate pieces. So uh, just gently pull that little backing piece off. When I do this, I want, I mostly want, the, well, I mean, I want the whole thing to stick, but I'm particular about making sure that the edges are adhered. So when I, I mean, you have to touch it at some point, but I'm trying to touch like in the middle here, or in this piece here so that I'm not taking any adhesive off the all important ends. So then I just got to find my big swoop. Swoop, there it is. Okay, and then, so I found it over here. Now, now I twisted it again. There we go. So again, I'm just gonna try to use my fingers. I'm starting at the bottom. It may not look like it, but I'm starting at the bottom. Actually, this is too big for my fingers, so I'm gonna have to put it on the table. So I'm starting at the bottom piece here and I'm lining it up 
and I'm just going to push it down as I go, just on the edges. So I still got a little bit of play if I need to. Um, it's very easy to stretch these dies out, like if you're pulling on them. So you want to try to just lay them flat down. So if you find that you're stretching and it's not lining up anymore, just kind of push it back into place. Because it's so thin, you can usually manhandle it and, and get it back in the middle. Um, so now I can pick it up. So yeah, so I've got my edges lined up. And so now I'm just kind of going through and making sure I go around without pulling or stretching or getting off the edge. There we go. And then, so I got little sticky parts there too. And then I can just put that down like that. And so for me, because I'm, I, I'm not going to bother with putting that on that. Actually, you know what? I will. I'll show you. It is easier the second time. So I keep, I kept it the way it's supposed to. And I'm going to actually, because I like to live on the edge, I'm going to take the backing off. And then I figure I should be pretty close here. There we go. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. So now I've got my centerpiece in. And then I am just going to... I'm actually just going to use glue dots because I like to. Oh, look at that. There's a double glue dot right there. It was meant to be. And I'm putting the double glue dot uh, on the side that doesn't have the holes. And then I'm going to put... Because I don't want it to twist. I would put one on one side. Oh my god, that one's a double one too. What's going on here? Look at this. I have... Uh, Oh, I don't think you can see them on there. Nope. There, I have a whole bunch of twins. So I am just, I'm just trying to hit the glue dots. I'm hitting them on two spots. So if you just stick one in the middle, then this is liable to like twist and turn a bit on you. And I don't want that. So I'm just uh, doing that. But I'm just making sure I have one tiny little spot in the middle that did not punch. There we go. Um, I'm just making sure that they're spread enough apart that when I put it down, it'll just stay put. And the only thing I'm doing on this one, because it really doesn't matter which way it goes, is there's um, I'll show you here in a second. There we go. There's two rows of little um, holes, like really tiny holes. You can just barely see them, I think. Oh, there we go. I'm just, this fits within that row. So I'm just making it so I'm not like, it'll look off kilter to me if, if half of one of the rows is covered up. So I'm just putting it so that I can fully see those two rows. And that's how well it fits just in between. And then there's your flower. And then when I stick my, uh, because I love the glue dots, you know, I love the glue dots. I'll just go back and grab this little twin pair over there. You notice I'm putting it on the front of the leaf. So I'm just going to grab that little pair of twins there. Just going to that extra piece off and I'll just go through and uh, yeah, wherever I decide I'm going to go and I usually just stick it to the underside of the flower with glue dots <laughs> right that's how I normally stick it on so I put mine again I put my three circles down I put these two and I put my little outside pieces and then I lined this up and then once I had it where I wanted to then I just started securing stuff down and just kind of dry fitting it as I went so there you go Welcome August. Welcome fall. Yes, I love fall. Okay, so I got to get back to work because I'm hard at work die cutting like a demon and uh, I still have to make a little bit more but I will give you a little sneak peek of September's and it, you know, sometimes you get an idea in your head and you're like, oh, I hope it turns out. Oh, it turned out. I'm so happy with how this turned out. Happy fall, y'all. <laughs> You can't see the rest of it till I do the video for the rest of it. Okay, there we go. Uh, again, I'm so sorry how late August stuff is here, but it is uh, it is en route to you, and um, it goes together fairly quickly. So I hope you can enjoy the sunflowers for a few weeks. All right, thanks everybody. See you for September.